Hi girls, it's Mrs. Angie again. We are going to talk about, um, we're, we're going to read chapter 3 and chapter 4 in between earth and sky. Now remember, we are taking a road trip to remember with the flower friends. And in chapter 1, we learned about Lupe's powder blue petal power car and that she was going on a road trip to Maine to visit family. Zinni the Zinnia decided to go with her as uh, well as... After uh, they visit Maine, they're going to go continue on to California and then to Alaska. To um, Oh, in California, they're going to visit um, Yellow Lupin, Lupe's cousin, and then to Alaska to visit and help Clover's cousin, Sweet Clover. In Chapter 2, um, they ate wild Maine blueberries in Maine, right? Um, and they had those in pancakes. They visited the rocky beach of Maine and they went to the lupin festival where many colored lupins were talking about how people were pulling yellow lupin from the sand because she was growing where she shouldn't be or they didn't want her to be. So okay let's continue with chapter three. Sunny's summer and the road to Dairyland. Dairyland? We live in the Dairyland state. I wonder if they're coming to Wisconsin. All right. All the talk of yellow lupin being pulled from the dunes worried Clover. She wanted to reach her cousin in Alaska as soon as possible. So Lupe agreed to drive west right away. As the flowers traveled into the sunset, Clover turned to Lupe. I know you didn't want to leave Maine so soon, she said. That's okay, Clover, said Lupe. Once we're in California, I'll be a very happy flower. Just then, Lucy, Lucy and Ace flashed their lights. They had something to say. Just remember, we won't be much good out west, Lucy, Lucy said. That's right, chimed in Ace. We fireflies live all over the world, but not in California. Why is that, Lupe asked. We're not sure, Lucy said. No one really knows. Well, you're missing out on some nice weather, Zinni said. In California, I can wash my petals and they dry right away. That's a real plus for a petal head like me. Lucy and Ace flashed their lights in agreement. As the flowers traveled along, the miles began to add up. A road sign soon appeared. Pittsburgh, next exit. Pittsburgh, yelled Zinni. Isn't that where Sunny the Sunflower is spending the su summer? Yes, said Clover. She said she was getting the lead out. What did she mean? She was getting the lead out. Sunny is cleaning the soil in Pittsburgh so more gardens can grow, grow there, Lupe explained. Sunny is being very helpful, said Zinni. Yes, indeed, agreed Lupe. Sunflowers are good at removing bad things like lead from soil. Did you know that Pittsburgh used to have really dirty air too? It was so dirty that morning was as dark as night. That would have kept Lucy and Ace busy. The two fireflies flashed their lights. Let's stop and say hello, Lucy said. Maybe Sunny will join our road trip, said Ace. I hope so, said Lupe. Her leaves make such nice wind sails for my pedal power car. And then she turned off the highway and drove into the city of Pittsburgh. Gardens were everywhere. How will we ever find Sunny? Zinni said. Just look up, Lupe said. She's so tall, we can't possibly miss her. And she'll be with lots of other sunflowers. As the pedal power car turned the bend, the flowers saw an amazing sight, the city surrounded by water. They were looking at the place where two rivers, the, Atle <clears throat> the Allegheny and the Monongala, <laughs> come together to form the mighty Ohio River. As soon as the car turned the next bend, the flower friend saw a huge wall of sunflowers. Wow. Sunny, the flyer, flowers cried all at once. Down here, it's Lupe, Zinni, and Clover, and Lucy and Ace. What 
a nice surprise, said Sunny, bending low to greet her friends. I wasn't expecting any visitors. We're going to Alaska, Clover said. Alaska, cried Sunny. I've always wanted to go there. You know, I've been working so hard, I could use a rest. May I join you? We'd love to have you, Lupe said. We're stopping next in Wisconsin, America's Dairyland. Yay! We hear the cheese is good. Sure is. Well, then move over, Sunny said, as she hopped into the car and buckled her seatbelt. With strong winds and Sunny's big leaf sails, it wasn't long before the flowers reached the Dairyland. They stopped to enjoy the rolling hills dotted with farms and black and white cows. You know, these dairy farms used to be wheat fields, said Lupe, but growing wheat season after season wore out the soil. Taking care of soil is so important, said Sunny. That's why I was in Pittsburgh. And now that I've been in the, this bucket seat with its fresh soil for a while, I feel so much better, Sunny added. How about we go taste some delicious Dairyland cheese? Chapter four, a salty lake and the smell of pine. Triangles, balls, bricks, and cubes. In Dairyland, the flowers saw cheese of all shapes and colors, even giant wheels all wrapped in bright red wax. They sampled cheddar, lacy Swiss, and a cheese called Wonder Bar, which means wonderful in German. Then on the grass, they spread a picnic of cheddar cheese, chocolate milk, and fresh red raspberries. For shapes and colors, Dairyland is a much is as much fun as Jasper Beach, Zinni said. Suddenly, a big white Dairyland truck drove up. Its back door swung open and a bush with beautiful white blossoms peeked out. Hi, I'm Jazz, the bush said. I'm a night blooming jasmine from Florida. Hi, said Zinni. We're having a picnic before we drive west to California. California? That's where I'm going, Jazz said. I'll look for you on the road. The flowers liked meeting new plants and learning from them. They promised to look for Jazz and the Dairyland truck too. By now, after so much cheese and milk, Lupe was sleepy. Zinni hadn't eaten much cheese, so she hopped into the driver's seat while Lupe settled in for a long nap. When Lupe awoke, a salty smell was in the air. Hmm, what is that? She asked as she stretched and yawned. We can't be at the Pacific Ocean already. No, it's the Great Salt Lake, said Zinni. It's saltier than the ocean. So we're in Utah? Lupe asked. I was hoping we'd be in California by now. I really wanted to see the Great Salt Lake, said Sunny. Lots of sunflowers live by it. I had so much fun floating in it when I was little. I'm glad we're here, said Lupe. Lots of birds like to rest by this big lake. I wonder how many we'll see. I hear that many ducks and geese live near the waters of the Great Salt Lake, Sunny added. Let's see how many we can spot. That's a good idea, said Clover. Lots of seagulls, pelicans, and bald eagles are also found here. Let's keep an eye out for those special birds, too. Oops, let me show you the picture. That sounds like fun, Sunny said. And while we're here, Let's at least enjoy a nice float in the Great Salt Lake. And get our picture taken, said Lupe. That would be a nice, make a nice postcard to send our flower friends back home. 
Maybe we can even float by the spiral jetty. The spiral what? said Zinni. The spiral jetty, Lupe said. It's a huge, awesome coil made of black rocks and earth. It's earth art. That's art made outdoors right in the land. It's my favorite kind of art. Some earth art helps the outdoors, added Clover. That's the best kind, if you ask me. That's using resources wisely. With that, the flowers hopped out of the pedal power car and jumped into the lake. You see the, here's the jetty. That's cool. The salt water made floating so easy. The flowers didn't have any trouble keeping their heads and their roots safely above the water. They just leaned back and enjoyed the view. After a nice long float, the flowers were ready to hit the road again. They wanted to reach the pine woods of northern Arizona before dark. As they drove south, the flower friends smelled sweet pine sap in the air. These aren't just any pine trees, Lupe explained, as beautiful woodlands came into views, view. These are pinion pines. Their seeds are pine nuts, an important food for birds and people for thousands of years. I think I forgot to show you this picture. There's the one from before of them floating in the salt, um, Great Salt Lake. And here's the last one. All right, so that's the end of chapter four. Um, at our next meeting, we will be talking about chapters three and four. And then um, for next time, we will read um, chapters five and six. I'm excited to be work to work on the next activities, and I will see you soon. Love you.